Hello everybody, it's Lucas McIntosh here and I'm back with some more GoldenEye 007 for the Nintendo 64 where I'm attempting to do the game on 00 Agent Mode. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch one of my retro Let's Play videos. If you enjoy my content and would like to see more, why not hit that subscribe button because that way you'll be instantly notified every time I upload a new video and I've got new content coming each and every single week. Okay, so um, this is actually commentary I'm doing over gameplay I recorded last night, so it's not actually live commentary um, I actually spent a bit of time trying to do the bunker on double O agent mode so I'm going to be showing you how to do that in this uh, set of two videos so I'm going to show you what not to do as well as what to do essentially so I do make a few cock ups as they say but to be honest um, I never thought I'd find myself saying this I think the bunker on double O agent mode might just be my favorite mission of all time it's so cool when you know what to do so here we go, let's do it. Bunker, double O agent. We need to compare staff and casualty lists, recover the CCTV tape, disable all security cameras, recover the GoldenEye operations manual and escape with Natalia Simeonova, who is Bond's cellmate. Right, let's get the background and then the briefing. Escape is the first priority. Find the staff and casualty lists and the CCTV tape of your capture. If there are any witnesses, try and bring them out as well. Unbelievable 007. If this gets out, we'll be the laughing stock of the international community. As soon as you get back, if you get back, you're getting a performance review. Only completing the objectives will give you a hope of keeping your rather checkered career intact. Okay. <laughs> So she's not going to help me much. Q branch, you've got your wits and that's about it, 007. Not much I can do to help you here. You might try to find your equipment again when you escape from the cell, though it took me a lot of time to get all that stuff together. Right, now for the uh, money penny briefing, grabbed by the Spets nice James. Sounds painful. So yeah, this mission is my favourite overall. It's very difficult. You're probably thinking, are you mad? You must be off your tree because this is not easy. It's true it's not easy, but um, I know there's probably golden eye speedrunners who can do this level far better than I can, but this is kind of how I do it. I do everything nice and slowly. Essentially, um, you want to use the one shot, one shot, one shot method, um, which I'm going to show you. Um, you also want to alternate between um, luring lots of guards into one area because what it is is there are guards in, in all over the bunker and they're guarding certain rooms and if you make enough commotion you can actually lure them over to where you are and so that when you shoot them and take them all out they won't be in those rooms also you need to make sure not to be seen by a security camera because when the Spetsnaz come it's game over pull it this way they will shoot you to shreds hence the reason why you've got to get rid of all those security cameras so I'm just going to one shot this guy in the head and what I, I'm going to be doing this a lot guys by the way so this is just my method of doing it it might not be to everyone's kind of taste but this is what I do I always fire a gun and run back to the cell it's just where I feel safe and it's where I can kind of take out the enemies if, if, if need be even though I do get shot quite a bit so yeah I'm going to be showing you what to do as well as what not to do as well so it didn't take me very long it only took me about 45 minutes to do um, so I kind of wanted to split it up and you know show you my deaths and the things I didn't do um, just to show you you know that it can be done and it to be honest it wasn't much of a struggle I mean I think I found this harder on secret agent mode because it took me several attempts but now I know what to do as I said this game really opens up look at that so you want to just one shot enemies as much as you can however when you see an army of guys um, and that you've lured to one area you want to take them out that way so as you can see I've just lured some more guys over here so yeah this is not a very good run so far hence the reason so it's probably going to be a lot of restarts I think yeah see that when that happens just restart the game or restart the level I should say oh my god yeah so Basically, everything I like to do this level, or try to anyway, do this level very slowly. Um, I don't like rushing because there's lots of obstacles on this level. There's lots of soldiers in rooms uh, hidden away as well. Sometimes, as I said, there's um, lots of opportunities for you to die if you're not careful. There's some 
Um, armoured guns as well in the corridors. Motion centred, which react to you, which need to be taken down, otherwise, they'll not only rip you to shreds, but they will cause lots of guards to run towards you. Uh, you don't want to be seen by the security cameras, as I mentioned, because um, they will alert the Spetsnaz, an infinite uh, spawn of soldiers who have much more powerful weapons and um, won't go down as easy as the other guards. So, you really got your work cut out for you. Now, what the first thing to remember is do not let Natalia out of the cell straight away. Complete all the objectives and get rid of as many guards as you can. So clear out the whole bunker, even if it takes you a long time, because you want to be able to do this mission um, without their interference. Because there's nothing worse than getting to the end of the mission and realising you've missed an objective and Natalia gets shot. Yeah, you know, which can happen. If she gets shot, then I think the mission is over because you need her. So yeah, see that? I'm kind of doing that a lot. I'm just going back to my cell um, whenever the soldiers come. Sometimes they'll just like, they'll chase you for a bit and they'll just stand outside the area where you are. They'll just be guarding the area, like, which I think is pretty cool. Oh. See, he hasn't even noticed. So I just one shot him. There you go. So doing it this way also means you pick up key cards and the casualty list. Some of the objectives you're probably thinking, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to do it. Well, if you take your time and do it slowly, you will. Trust me. They're not hard objectives. Um, you say you have to compare a casualty and a staff list. I think a few of the guards, or one of the guards, has got like a list on him. And I think there's one in the office. To be honest, um, I was so adrenaline filled trying to do this. I've forgotten how to get the golden operations manual I presume it might be in the safe actually so because this safe you can kind of get into into the one room just down there to the left and it's got the silencer in which uh, the soldiers took away so it's got bonds equipment in it oh see that I've got the attention of a guard so I'm just going to shoot him a few times All right. We'll get the gun. Lovely stuff. Oh! Whenever I hear a, a door, you got to be so careful. You've got to sneak around this level. So, I think one of the reasons why I failed at this game as a kid was because I mistook what what people would say would was I can't get the words out. What people would say was stealth in this game. So I interpreted stealth as oh, sneak around, shoot everything. Um, you know, stealth to me didn't mean running back to one area and just shooting out and I think that's why I wasn't able to kind of get through the game because I didn't understand how the game played. Now I understand how it played, I'm able to almost beat it so as I said the main goal of these videos is to complete the game on double O agent mode. I'm not fussed about the secret levels, I just want to complete the game on the highest difficulty setting, that's my goal and I'm getting through it slowly. Look at that, I've just lured more soldiers and they're actually coming from a room just down there behind those two sets of double doors and that's kind of what I like because it lures them out. Now, sometimes they'll come straight away, sometimes I'll just stand there. Um, as I said, sometimes I'll kind of forget about you or, or just maybe they won't see you that you're in one area and they'll just stand there, it's really bizarre. So this is the room with the safe in that we can't get into yet, and there it is. See, we need a safe key, but don't worry, we will get one. And that, I actually fired the gun by accident that time. Alright, so, we also need to shoot the cameras. Now you can get this one here, it's really difficult to do, to be honest. Um, you need to time it just right and get in the right spot. That camera is crucial, you need to get rid of that camera because it's a pain in the ass. There are several cameras on this level and as I said if they see you, you might as well just push the reset button because you know, unless you're a golden eye expert, there's absolutely no way you're going to get through the Spetsnaz. I don't have no idea if they go away, um, I'd like to know that if you alert the Spetsnaz, will they go away? So if anybody could let me know in the comment section, if there are any golden eye speedrunners or experts, I'd love to know. Do the Spetsnaz go away? 
after a continued period of time or do they keep coming for Bond? Um, I presume that they don't, but it'll be interesting to see what the community says. You know, I could be wrong. I hope I am anyway, because it might make doing this mission for me a little easier. Okay, so I've got rid of that crucial camera, so there are like a few more, which I will get rid of, and they're far easier. However, there is one that might catch you out. This is the room where um, it's easy to die. You do not want to enter this room directly. Just create a bit of commotion and then run away because this lures a few guards out and don't be fooled when a few guards come out because there are actually more in that room hiding behind corners it really is one of these levels so just but as I said this is what I meant when I said about alternating between firing one shot and a load of shots you need to lure some guards out so you can get their keys and stuff so yeah had I known this when I was a kid, I would have been able to get through this game no problem. But, like, doing this level, I had the biggest adrenaline rush I'd ever had in a video game. You know. Uh, particularly, in fact, it's not just this level, but I had the same one on the silo. My heart was beating really fast, and I kind of thought, oh my god, the Spetsnaz are coming out, but they don't. Oh, see that? That's what I'm talking about. He's, like, just chilling there. But, as I said, don't be fooled, there's still more guards in this room. I suppose, like, if I was a more proficient player, I would go in and just shoot them. I don't think that would alert more guards, but I don't want to take the chance. Uh, better safe than sorry, to be honest. See, look, the guards all want a piece of me now, so I'm luring them out of that room. So, essentially, what I'm doing, guys, is I'm getting rid of all the guards in the bunker, one by one, or bit by bit, so I can have free reign of the bunker. Get rid of the cameras, so that the spets has can't be alerted. Um, getting all the stuff that I need as well. Getting rid of those drone guns, that's what they're called. Drone guns, there's like some in the corridor, and they can easily cut you down if you forget about them. Once you get rid of all of them, then, essentially, as long as you don't do anything. I'm not sure if you can still alert the Spetsnaz without the cameras. I'm sure you can't, but you've got free reign of the bunker then and you and Natalia can escape. So as I said, don't let Natalia out to the very end. You wanna clear this whole area out. Cause that's that's like a big mistake. That's that's a mistake that I made straight away. I thought I've got to let her out, but you have to take into consideration there's guards everywhere. And there's another one. Okay. I'm getting better with my strafing as well, so as I said, this game's really opening up for me. I'm loving it the more I play it. I'm loving the challenge. I'm not too frustrated by it um, because I kind of, you know, I've almost got this figured out now. So I'm almost at reaching my goal of doing this on Double O Agent, and it's very exciting for me. There you go, look at that. I'm just one shotting these guys to death. And as I said, you can have so much fun with this game as well. I never get tired of like shooting the guards and you know doing different things and finding new ways to get through the level. See that they're dropping guns as well, and there's there's always like a key or something. One of the soldiers does drop a key for the safe, so there's there is always that. Right, I think there's see that there's like another guard there, but he's not seeing me. So there's a few in this area and they are kind of very sneaky so you've got to be so careful right so I've shot him but it hasn't alerted his friends I don't know where they are or whether they're gonna join me or what try and shoot me there you go I mean one thing I have learned is that Sometimes it, it, you can just shoot guards in areas and others won't be alerted, but I just never take the chance because I've been ripped to shreds on the stage by taking risks and I kind of, maybe I'm a little bit overly cautious on this, but it's just kind of how I play really. So I've taken out those guards. And, oh, hello. What's he running for? Did you guys see that? He just ran. I, I've never seen that happen before. So I think, well actually, tell a lie I have, it was on the frigate level. He kind of, there was like, I created a commotion and I had like three guards come in and like, 
one randomly just ran up the stairs I thought I'd run around like a maniac so I think the AI screwed up right it looks like there's a guard out there I could be wrong it looks like there's one standing outside the door I don't know it could be my eyesight but you never know I'm not taking any chances anyway this is very strange indeed Poor Natalia, having to watch me do this. Alright, so I just paused it for a minute. I remember this because I was like trying to think through what I needed to do next. Um, I was doing trying to do everything little by little. It kind of reminds me, I know it's not the same thing and it's a weird comparison, but you know when you watch Wallace and Gromit and it the animation looks so smooth and fluid and it's kind of like not the same thing but with GoldenEye you've got to do everything bit by bit to create you know almost a seamless kind of video that's the kind of way I looked at it I, I thought well I'd get rid of each guard individually or each set of guards and do them bit by bit and then it all kind of builds up into one huge thing and then I can complete some of the harder objectives such as um, getting in the safe which you can actually do and to be honest it's only in recent years I've actually managed to uh, decide to use the save key because I never have before yeah so I always kind of do that during the levels just pause it and just try to reflect what I'm what I need to do because I need to really concentrate because it's kind of like I'm not a chess player but it's kind of like you've got to use a lot of strategy and not you know choose your moves wisely and do everything very carefully see that big mistake but I'm gonna run away and that's always the best thing to do um, you might not think so I mean sure I probably could have taken him and his mates out and stuff like that like like that in the other room but I'm just not taking the chance just doing everything as carefully as I can and once you get rid of the cameras and, and the guards and the drone guns then essentially you've done the mission you don't need to worry oh hello see that there's another guard there oh Christ almighty see that's why I do everything try and do everything carefully because things like that happen so you have to anticipate for that that things are gonna go wrong I think there might be something in that room actually I'm sure there's like a videotape or something. See, there's a guard there and he's not really doing anything. So we'll just shoot him in the face. Alright, have I got everyone in this room? Right, okay. There's a document on the table. I don't know what that is, but we'll take it. Objective A completed. So, we've done one of the objectives. So, now I'm going to try and take care of those drone guns and enemies. See that? I like to shoot the drone gun and then run away because it might attract attention. It might seem like a waste of time but again, better to be safe than sorry. I always do this, retreat back to my cell. Alright, I don't think, I don't think that's really done anything to be honest but sometimes you can like you won't know what's happened until you see the guard like I'll probably go back to the area and there'll be a guard just just like I said just standing guard outside a guard standing guard sounds sounds well doesn't it or a soldier standing guard I should say so that's why I'm like always being super careful okay I just do not want to take any chances and screw this up so we've got rid of one drone gun I think there's like three sets or something in this uh, striped corridor so let's just slowly Look around the corner and strafe. I'm doing this very slowly, very carefully. It does not look like there's anything there actually. Okay, oh, see it? It's drone gun there. I'm gonna get rid of that one. That's drone gun number two. Again, I'm running away. Might attract unwanted attention. So I'll just go back into the cell. Very monotonous but this is just like this is just how I do it. I actually prefer this method. 
I suppose once I get better with the game, I'll probably be a bit braver. You know, once I kind of... But I feel like I've developed some skill. You know, playing this game. I never thought I'd get to the stage where I'd be doing these levels on the higher agent difficulty. You know, I always thought it was impossible, but it's really not. Once you break it down, it's not that bad. Some missions you can just brush. See that? The guard there standing, waiting for me. And there's yet another drone gun somewhere. That's only there. It is. See that? Okay. Run. Oh my god. As I said, as long as you do it like this, you won't find the enemies too problematic. But I guarantee there's probably like one soldier who's heard that and he's standing guard. So it, make, it kind of makes the corridor safe doing it like that. So I'm just going to check this way. As you can see, I got rid of that camera. Right. So, I kind of try and do a little bit more now. So it's like, as I said, I call it the Wallace and Gromit effect, bit by bit. <laughs> and it all builds up. So it's like, you know, you've got to slowly, slowly do it. And I think that's what's great about this game. You can play it however you like. You know, and I've this is the first time I've played, like, being so super careful. I'd always played it like Doom, which was a big mistake. Because I'd get ripped to shreds and I'd always wonder why I was dying. I would realise I'd need to use stealth, but I wouldn't know how to. See that? There's a guard just outside there, waiting for me, so I'll wait for him to come and then we'll one-shot him. Oh, come on. Was that forward roll really necessary? There we are. We'll take the gun. Nice. See that? They're not actually all coming for me now, so I think because I've got rid of most of them. 